And for more, let's go to Kinshasa and uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo's communications minister, Patrick Mouyaya Katembwe. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Thank you so much, sir, to host me. Uh, first off, uh, have you had any news uh, from the uh, uh, Electoral Commission? Do we have those very first, uh, have we had the first trends coming out uh, uh, of the ballot box? Earlier in the day, we had nothing. We will have it in the coming hours. Uh, Electoral Commission sent like uh, an invitation for candidate and for media to go in the center, especially uh, a center where Electoral Commission is doing live dur during the day and especially tonight they're going to start with publishing different trends and then we are waiting to see what will happen. I think it's going to be in an hour or two and then you will be aware of that. And uh, the uh, one member of the uh, uh, National Electoral Commission, the CENI, uh, uh, quoted as saying 97% of voters had cast ballots in the end in this election. Uh, what, do you have numbers? Do you know how many citizens were unable to vote? You know, uh, we've been waiting for almost 44 million people to vote. And the number are provided by Electoral Commission because Electoral Commission is the one who's taking care of all the process. And yesterday, one of the board members said that there were 97% of poll were open. And then we are waiting to see the result because it's about uh, 44 million people in a country large like uh, the, the old Eastern, Western of Europe. So it was a big challenge, uh, a big logistical challenge. It was a big challenge because we had 100,000 different candidates and 40, 40 million people who have to cast their vote. That's the challenge we made on time. That's one of the good things. And the government congratulates Congolese people for being like such, mobi for the, the way they were mobilized, the way they were passionate during this electoral process. And especially we said, we asked CENI, to make sure they are taking care of people complaint about the time of the opening of different polling stations, about other difficulties difficulties people were meeting why uh, why they are going to vote. And we are optimistic that everything will go well and people will, of course, accept the result. The CENI announcing the end of uh, voting at, uh, on Thursday evening. Uh, there have been several reports, the French news agency AFP reporting uh, one locality uh, Kilembwe in, in uh, South Kivu province, where because the voting materials only arrived very late on Thursday, that they had cast ballots today. Uh, should those votes, votes be counted? Uh, if I have to ask you to this question as minister, I will say yes, because one of the challenges during this election is to make sure each Congolese can express his opinion, can choose his leader. The principle was they open, the, the polling station were, should open around 6 to close at 7. So they have 11 hours of vote. So if people start voting like at 3 p.m., they should finish like later, maybe at 3 or 4 a.m. the next day. And I think the, the, the main need here is to make sure each Congolese can express their vote. What it comes about, the respect of delay, etc., will be, of course, handled by the CENI. As I was telling you before, there is a huge need of logistics, and the logistics was a very, very big challenge, and we are making sure everything is done so each Congolese people, where they can, can cast their vote. Why was it more chaotic than in 2018? I don't think the cow is the good word to describe what is happening here. Most of the time, people were expecting more violence. People were expecting exclusion. But this election is the most inclusive election we never had before in this country. For the first time, Congolese people from five countries all over the world casted their vote. For the first time, too, you have 100 million, 100,000 candidates. We are voting for local elections. And people were expecting to see some candidate being excluded for the the definitive list of different candidates, especially in presidential election, it wasn't done. So here, what you have to see is that those Congolese people, we've been very patient to cast their vote, is to see that Electoral Commission, they speak that the condition, they speak all the challenges they've been facing, they organize election on time. Of course, we need to recognize that there was some challenge, some difficulties, and Electoral Commission is providing answers. That this must be seen to. It's not just about some little incident, because here it's about 
75,000 polling stations. So if you have a problem with two, three, maybe 100, of course, so it's number, but it's little if you have to see things in the big way, the way things are, because it's about 44 million people voting. So I hear what you're saying. Let the process run its course, count the ballots, see how the process goes. Uh, when the dust settles, uh, Patrick Mouyeya Katembwe, uh, if there are too many flaws, if uh, there are too many irregularities, then would you agree with those opposition candidates that a rerun would be a better idea? It depends what you call irregularity. What you call irregularity, what will be the impact of this irregularity in the older process? I would like if your report, I think your journalist are in Kinshasa, they can go in a city like Goma, they can go in a province like Congo Central, where everything was done in a good way. Even here in Kinshasa, they speak the fact that there, really, there was a small delay on the opening polling of station. Some people waited six they, hours to vote in Kinshasa. Yes, it's fine. That's that. That's the proof that they are very patriot. Because when you go, you have to vote for four people. You have a list of even like 600 voters waiting. And each voters take three to four minutes to vote because he's voting for four people at the same time. When you have 100,000 candidates, it was, as I was explaining before, it's a tough challenge. But we did our best as government to provide the all support electoral commission needed. And today, if you have to look different report made by international observers. They are speaking about some challenges, some irregularity, and Seni is giving answer. But if you have to consider those irregularities with the world process, you will see that those irregularities are very small. And we don't think that this election should be, we should like organize another elections. We know opposition candidates were, since before this election, were saying that they're gonna protest. But the good thing is here, is that each of them went to vote. The good thing here is that each polling station is making public the result. Everybody can consult, can go in his polling station to see that the result is published. And for the first time in the story of this country, Electoral Commission will be presenting results constituency by constituency. So each candidate and each voter in real can time. see. Yes, it's going to be done tonight. All right. Patrick Mouyaya Katembwe, uh, Communications Minister of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you so much for joining us here on France 24. Thank you so much for following the situation here. And uh, we hope we're going to continue to talk about it, especially when it's, it's, it's going to come about the result. All right. Many thanks uh, for that.